What is up, Buck? I am Doug with Dini in the garage, and this is a snowblower engine. Well, it used to be a snowblower engine. It's more of a big paperweight now. For some reason, oh, the rotating assembly doesn't rotate at all. Follow me on Instagram or in Reels. You know that we pulled this guy off of a Simplicity blower that otherwise had nothing wrong with it. We found an identical donor and we sent that blower back out the door. But I want to know exactly what went wrong in this bad boy, so we're going to tear it down tonight. Hmm. Hmm. I've seen this before. <laughs> Seized machine has brand new never run oil in it. Exactly up to the to the full mark. Wise man once said, don't lie to people that are just trying to help you. That's gonna be your doctors and your lawyers, particularly. That's common sense, right? Never lie to your doctor or lawyer. Can we add small engine tech? It doesn't get you anywhere. I'm gonna find out what you done to it. It's not like, oh well, you had new oil in it, so it, no way it could have been your fault. Dude ran it out of oil, it became one piece. He quickly threw some oil in it and thought maybe <laughs> maybe he would either. I don't know, fool the guy at the at the parts store. Anyway, let's get into this darn thing. I guess we'll have to drain this new oil. Yeah, there we go. Bunch of water. Oh uh, yeah, this is a mess. Well, I guess we'll let that drip. Oh, while I start taking covers off. So regardless of the condition of the inside of the motor, stuff like actually these little spacers are invaluable and like the carburetor. I mean, this carburetor looks like it's probably fine. Um, so I'll clean this thing up and uh, you know, keep it around as a spare. Sometimes people would rather have a used option when their carburetor is kaput skis, you know. Dual on's a little hard, too hard to pop off the carb there, but honestly, I don't need it to anyway. We'll pinch it off, cut it. Yeah, that's just water coming out of the, the fuel tank there. So this thing's sat a while. All righty, take your bets. Valve issue? I kind of don't think so. Nah. Those valves look fine. No problem on the valve train. All righty, I'm tired of dickering around. Let's pop this dipstick tube off, and then we'll just pull this uh, cover off, let the oil go where it wants. I got the tub vaguely downwind. I'm sure we'll be fine. People break these all the time, and then they're like, hey, can you get me one? And oh, I'd rather just be like, I gotta use one. I'll sell you for 10 bucks. You want that? So yeah, this guy's perfect. Perfect donor parts. Place your bets. Let's see, common failures or, uh, well, really common failures, the connecting rod doesn't connect anymore. Usually that's an oil starvation thing. Piston resistance gets heavy and you just pull the connecting rod right apart uh, or compress it to pieces. Uh, but obviously not our situation here. So I don't know, bud. I'll bet the piston's just stuck, which means we could probably take the head off. If this were an old flathead, we could take that, whatever, just get in there, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 I know. You know, one of the reasons I got into the video essays instead of doing so many darn repair videos is because you always are yelling at me for talking too darn much and well, the whole point in a video essay is to talk, right? Hey, did I forget something? I didn't miss a bolt. You missed a bolt. There we go. More water. I'm not gonna lie, that is doing a fantastic job, all in all. Broad strokes, really couldn't ask for better than that. She's coming, she's coming. Ugh, she's just being stubborn. All right, 
governor didn't fly apart. Uh, uh oh. Usually you're gonna see a ton of part numbers right down there. Uh, everything looks good. The valves looked good. Camshaft's clearly not seized. I guess the piston might be seized. Should we pull the head off? Oh no. Oh no, I forgot to check the first thing you're supposed to check. There's no way though, right? It happens more on the flatheads, but these starters can get stuck engaged and seized and all bound up. I've seen it. I've actually showed it on this channel before. I have a number of reels showing a starter seizing up a snowblower. Now I usually don't check on these because they're so crappy. They usually do grenade inside. I, there's almost the exact same intake right there blown up from mild oil starvation. The starter is engaged on the flywheel right now. It's just both of them seem to move. There we go. So that's where it's supposed to sit and then it shoots out and turns. Yeah, that wasn't it though. That was just another issue. Didn't, this flywheel's not seized though. Fudge, sickles, man. I think I just tore this whole engine apart and repowered a machine over a bad recoil. Though to be fair, I didn't, I didn't diagnose this. I, it was just given to me and told it was chunked. Though it is my job to diagnose stuff, so. <laughs> no, something else is going on here. It is, it's the piston I think that's stuck. Cause I can move the whole flywheel. All right, we gotta pull the head off. That's the only thing left to do. I'm not being lazy. There are just certain bolts that I've messed with before and I know how it's gonna go. And so I just go for the vice grip to start. And these Intec exhaust bolts, some of them, you end up just rounding that Torx right out. And you go in. Uh, yeah, we're not doing all that. I don't care. Hey, look at that access. What do you know? Alrighty. Oh, interesting. Pistons full of fuel or cylinders full of fuel. Oh, I did that. Never mind. I did that when I, I was tired of holding that. So I figured it just, it was barely dripping. So I just put it in there. That's how much still came out though. That's a lot. <clears throat> and piston seized. Oh yeah. This cylinder's pooped. I assume everybody heard that. So, I mean, I could unstick this probably piece of wood um, and we could probably even get it running again but the problem is to what end because it's gonna have so much blow by and it's just it's abused it's been it was shot dude ran it out of oil clearly crammed a bunch of new oil in it and then let it sit for a good long time I think the water is secondary I don't think the water everywhere in the oil and the fuel is part of the original issue um, but yeah man that he really I mean you can really it's a bummer it's really a bummer Relatively good machine, but yeah, there's no, there's no point. You know, um, I may, if I get bored, I'll probably put this aside, own it, put the piston back in, put it all back together, try to put it on like a go-kart or something for myself, maybe. But uh, that's really all there is to it. It's so crazy to me how simple the oil is. And I don't mean like simple, like, oh, what are you an idiot? You forgot. It's just, it's such a little thing. And if you forget, we actually, we got that simplicity, I think either for free or for 50 bucks because the guy had chunked this motor and the simplicity snowblowers, the simplicity, this is a nine and a half and I think it was a 26 sw inch swath. So, you know, the dude paid 13, 14, 15, $2,000 for the darn thing. And then uh, over 
seven dollar quart of oil <laughs> it's a bummer right so i don't know let me know down in the squawk boxes what would y'all do with this one uh parts um hone it slap a piston back in it hope for the best maybe new rings you know obviously i can never give this to a customer i can never repower anything with it or maybe we could sell it as is but even that like what you know if you're honest about it no one's gonna buy it so anyway what would you guys do with it this is the kind of thing i would probably keep for myself and uh it's a bummer, you know, honestly, but uh, this is what I do for the most part. This is what Eric and I do. We track down equipment that's been abused. Um, people like to get rid of that stuff usually for free. And, and then we do what we have to do. In this case, this motor came off, the other one went on, and uh, we were able to sell that machine as a good working unit. So thankfully the machine lived on. I don't know that this motor will. Let me comment down in the squawk box and subscribe to the channel. Let me know. Content has changed since 2025 has started. If you are uh, someone who watches a lot of my videos, let me know what you think about the new content. And if you wouldn't mind seeing maybe once a month, one of these small engine videos snuck in as well. All right, thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to see y'all in the next one.